Your referee in charge. Para dar las indicaciones finales, su referee César Castañón. 12 rounds, 12 asaltos. Venga, dale. Manager. Intercambio de maneras, señores. Muy bien, caballeros, los dos conocen bien las reglas. Les voy a pedir una buena pelea. Están prohibidos los golpes con la cabeza, debajo del cinturón, en la espalda y en la nuca. Se protegen los dos todo el tiempo y cuando yo indique fuera, se separan sin tirar golpes. ¿Quedó claro para los dos? Suerte que ganen mejor. You know, Sergio, a lot of times so fighters warm up, hitting pads, that. jumping rope backstage. It looked like Martinez, the only warm up he had was punching himself in the face right after he got his gloves on and they ran him down to the ring. Well, he said he had a great camp and his training is going to speak for himself. So all he needs to do is warm up that chin and let him fly. All right, so it's El Rey versus El Taz with Julio Cesar Martinez's WBC Flyweight Championship in the balance. Scheduled for 12 rounds. Martinez has promised a KO. Cayeros, who took this fight on short notice, is relatively high level. He's already fought for a world world title. Here we go. No, Cayeros has nine losses, but only three were by knockout. Three of them were by split decision, so there were close fights, and then three by decision. So he is he is a, a veteran there, very experienced, Cayeros. Martinez in the white trunks, Cayeros in the green. Cayeros had a fight in September that fell through. He said, I, I kept training. I feel very good physically. I've got more experience. I'm staying positive. I'm going for the win. And again, he did come in at 117.4 pounds, five and a half pounds over the weight. I would love to see Martinez dig down to the body and, and check check him and see if, if that weight, that extra weight, is going to actually uh, uh, be a disadvantage oh, for nice Cayeros. He caught him early. He caught him early. Cayeros, did he touch the canvas? Yes, he did. What a start for El Rey. No warm-up needed for Martinez and Cayeros in a world of trouble a minute into this championship bout. Martinez should jump on him right now. Cayeros got hit early, got hurt early. Let's see what kind of closer Martinez is. He knows it's a 12 round fight. How aggressive will he be here? When you get caught that early, the cobwebs aren't out that much. So oh, a straight right affected him as well. Martinez should jump on him right now. Don't let him revive. Don't let him get his legs under him again. Martinez bouncing around on his toes, trying to be patient, but at the same time, trying to get Cairos out of there. Every punch Martinez has landed has affected Cairos. And there he switched southpaw. We're going to see a lot of that from Martinez. He switches orthodox to lefty, and he does it real subtle. You don't even know when he's doing it. He does it with his feet, not his upper body. A dream start. That's far. He caught him again with a big left hook. Everything is coming out roses here for Martinez. And this is where that extra weight actually is a detriment. That's all I was telling you. Uh, it's not always an advantage when you're overweight. Galleros is real jittery every time he gets hit cleanly by Martinez. Martinez swinging for the fence with that left hook. And this has been a nightmare for El Taz. Good body shot right there by Martinez. He just wants to survive this first round and collect himself. Let's see if Martinez puts his foot on the, oh, a big leaping left hook, and back to the ropes goes Cairos again. Every shot was hard right there, and he didn't fall off balance. Martinez with excellent balance right there in that combination. Right there, you've seen him turn southpaw. Got him again, does he have one final flurry in before the end of the first round? That will do it, but what a start for Julio Cesar Martinez. It did not take long. Look at these clean punches. Oh, it was a beautiful combination right there. It was a 32. Came in with that hook. Instead of the jab, he turned it into a hook and then a straight right hand. Look at those clean uppercuts right there. Catching the counters, coming back. The aggression not falling off balance for Martinez. 
that's what makes him so spectacular. Uh, uh, he's a buzzsaw, but he doesn't fight sloppy or get off balance. Martinez is just excellent, excellent champion to watch. So how would you approach this second round if you're Martinez? If you're Mar if I'm Martinez, I'm going to jump on him because I'm telling you, whenever you get hurt that early, it's hard to shake off. And if you're Cairos, you just try and stay away for a while? If you're Cairos, you want to get your legs under you and, and, and move. Don't stay stationary. Fight behind the jab. Oh, the big left hook. You could see the sweat shoot off the head of Cairos. What heavy punching power from this 112 pounder. He's just moving him all over the ring. And the punch selection that Martinez has, it comes from every angle, from left uppercuts to right, left hooks, right hooks, and then he gets an angle on top of that. Martinez is making Cairos look like an amateur. Big body shot. And this is a man in Martinez who has his sights set on a future showdown with perhaps Estrada or Chocolatito. He wants those big names, and at the age of 25, he may get them sooner than later if he can continue this type of performance. Cairos, right when you think he might be trying to settle into this fight, Martinez lets a flurry go and catches it just like that. And there's that same combination, that left hook, straight right hand. No jabs for Martinez, everything blazing. See how subtle Martinez turns into a, a left-handed fighter? You don't even see it. Right there, he goes back to orthodox. Everything switches real, real fast with his feet. So the extra weight for Cairos has not done anything for him in this fight from a positive perspective. Perhaps it's even hindered him. And there he goes. Martinez explosive with that combination, then real subtly switches to southpaw. Martinez defeated Christopher Rosales last December, winning the WBC flyweight title. Came back two months later for his first title defense against Jay Harris. And this is his second title defense, and it has been fantastic from the opening bell. And there's some power jabs from Martinez. We haven't seen many jabs from him, but when he lands them, he jolts the head back of Cairos. Look, power jabs. Oh, and every time Cairos throws a punch, he's left open, and Martinez is going to finish the show right here. And that's it. What a performance by Julio Cesar Martinez, who looked like the king tonight. He sigue haciendo el rey. I'm telling you, that was a performance right there. Chocolatito and Estrada, this may be the future in, or this may be in your future. This 25-year-old killer who just completely dismantled Moises Cairos like he was stepping in the ring for the first time. No fear. He, he said he wanted to leave it all in the ring and it didn't matter who was in front of him. So the under five and a half rounds cashes for those of you watching at home and it was never in doubt. Look at these punches landing for Martinez. No wasted energy. It's hard to defend against a guy that switches from lefty to righty and every shot with bad intention. Look at right there, he goes from orthodox to southpaw and punches coming from everywhere. Calleros couldn't hide because he didn't know where the punches at what angle they were coming from. Yesterday, when we spoke to the fighters, Martinez said, I feel I want to dominate my division, then move up to super flyweight to go up against Juan Francisco Estrada and Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez. With what you saw tonight, how would he fare in that weight class against those two fantastic fighters? I think he's just so active. He's so uh, unpredictable from switching that they have to train for two styles, an orthodox fighter and, a, and an unorthodox fighter and a southpaw. So it's gonna be, he's gonna be a handful for anybody, no matter the weight division. We make it official now with Pablo Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Cesar Castañón steps in and calls a halt to this contest.
the time of 2 minutes and 42 seconds in the second round. Tenemos el tiempo oficial, 2 minutos 42 segundos del segundo asalto. Declare your winner by the way of TKO victory. Su vencedor por la vía del knockout técnico. And still the WBC flyweight champion of the world. A un campeón mundial peso mosca del CMB de la Ciudad de México. Julio César, el rey Martínez.